All right, I'm gonna show you how to check and see if your pressure vacuum breaker or backflow is going to fail a test. Now this won't necessarily guarantee if it's gonna pass, but it will definitely let you know if it's going to fail. So what you're gonna to need to do, all you'll need is a screwdriver. You may need a pliers to close this bottom valve because some of them are kind of tight. So once you get that tight, then you come here and you want to open the bottom one. Sometimes these test valves will be right on the sides of the ball valves. On the older models, they'll be right here. And there's a check valve in between them that's supposed to hold. And see, that'll spit just a little bit. If that doesn't spit and just keeps going, because the pressure in the system will be there, the top one, if it doesn't spit at all, then that check valve will fail. So that's you know, guaranteed that it'll need to be rebuilt. A lot of these will have rebuild kits that you can find online and uh, rebuild yourself before you get tested to avoid the rebuild fee or whatever for your plumber or your tester or your rebuilder. So, notice how I opened that one and there's plenty of pressure. The bottom one did spit just a teeny bit because of the, the difference in the check valve there, but this is good. This one may pass. Um, now, if it didn't fail, like if I open this one and nothing came out or no pressure was there, that's guaranteed to fail and you should look at rebuilding it. There's a bottom rubber check valve in this model that's held the spring. A lot of times on this uh, Wilkins model, the 720A, that check valve loses the middle screw or the nut on it and it will leak and it won't do that. So, alright, thanks for watching. There's how you can tell if your backflow is going to fail for sure.